Let's dive into the captivating tale of Clever Hans, a horse that at one point had the world believing he was a mathematical genius. But as we'll discover, there's more to this story than meets the eye. It is Jose here from Train Me Please, let's go. In the late 1800s, Willem von Hosten, a German mathematics instructor and amateur horse trainer, introduced Hans as a horse with extraordinary numerical prowess, captivating the public's imagination. Von Hosten claimed that Hans could add, subtract, multiply, divide, work with fractions and even tackle intricate questions about the calendar. Questions could be posed orally or in written form, and Hans would respond by tapping his hoof, an unconventional but supposedly accurate display of mathematical insight. He would tap his hoof and stop precisely on the correct number. Von Hosten showcased Hans's abilities throughout Germany, drawing crowds with the promise of witnessing a horse with an uncanny talent for numbers. Enter Oskar Fungst, a psychologist with an interest in animal behavior. Fungst wanted to understand the science behind Hans's abilities and decided to conduct a formal investigation in 1907. Fungst's experiments were nothing short of meticulous. He tested clever Hans under various conditions, isolating the horse and questioner from spectators, using different questioners and varying whether the questioner knew the answer in advance. Hans displayed his apparent mathematical skills when tested by others familiar with the questions being asked. However, when the questioner was unaware of the correct answer, or when the question was presented in a way that prevented the person from knowing the answer, Clever Hans was unable to provide the correct response. Fungst's meticulous observations revealed the truth. Clever Hans wasn't a math genius after all. The horse was exceptionally skilled at interpreting human body language and facial expressions, stopping his hoof tapping when he sensed he had reached the correct answer. This phenomenon is now known as the Clever Hans effect, highlighting how animals can respond to subtle cues from their human counterparts. The rigor of Fungst's trials and detail of his observations are considered classic early examples of experimental design in behavioral psychology. His work set a standard for the meticulous study of animal behavior, emphasizing the importance of controlling variables and considering the role of unintentional cues. It has been discovered that numerous animals can pick up on subtle cues from their human handlers. The term Clever Hans effect is now commonly used to characterize how a questioner's inadvertent cues can impact subjects, whether human or animal. To safeguard against potential biases and prior knowledge influencing experimental outcomes, contemporary scientific practices incorporate the double-blind method. This ensures that both researchers and subjects remain unaware of key experiment details until after the results are recorded. For example, in the training of drug-sniffing dogs, individuals present are kept uninformed about which containers contain drugs to prevent inadvertent body language cues that could compromise the effectiveness of the exercise. Could I kindly ask that you click the like button down below so that more people can find this content? Cute photo as a thanks. The Clever Hans story teaches us valuable lessons about critical thinking and scientific inquiry. It reminds us that extraordinary claims require careful investigation and a healthy dose of skepticism. So the next time someone tells you about an animal with mind-blowing abilities, Remember the Clever Hans effect and approach it with a curious but cautious mind. Could you please leave me a comment below with the keyword Hans? That will let me know that you watched the video to this point. And if you want to support this channel, I would be mega thankful if you could buy me a coffee or a few coffees. Link in the description below. Next, I think you will enjoy this video here. Ciao pessoal e até breve.